go. One, two, three, two, three, let's go. It was the 99th meeting on the gridiron Saturday between Bucknell and Lafayette at Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium. After two Lafayette first downs, the Bison dug in. That allowed sophomore quarterback Logan Bittekoffer to lead the Bison O on the field. At the 22, it's third and five. Bittekoffer under pressure, throws a crossing pattern, and Sanders will great. He will take it up the far sideline to the 40, to the 50, into Lafayette territory. He'll be raced out of bounds inside the 45 at the Leopards 44. Great job by Bittekoffer to hang in there to the last second and spot the youngster, the freshman Sanders, for a first and 10. That's the only problem when you go tight man to man like that. You're going to, if you don't make the tackle immediately, he's going to have some room to run. Second and short for the Bison and Bittekoffer to pass. Pass. He's under pressure, tries to set up the screen, does a great job taking off to the right. He's going to run for a first down. Now he dives forward. There's a late flag as he'll take it inside the Leopards 30 at the 25. So that moves the ball down to the Lafayette 15 where it's first and 10. Handoff, no. Pass play for a touchdown. Oh, my almighty. Touchdown, your Bucknell Bison. Fake handoff by Bittekoffer to Cooper. Darting pass by Logan to Hours and Andrew Hours scores his second TD of this his senior campaign and the Bison jump on top of the Leopards six nothing. After a long kickoff return, Lafayette answered with a touchdown. The Leopards then got the ball back and faced a third and one. Third down and a pitch out wide. Bryce Simpson breaks a tackle, but not another. Oh, my almighty, the blue wave of the Bison defense came up again. As this time, Matt Robinson and Brandon Benson helped to bring down Simpson for a loss of three. It'll be fourth and four for Lafayette. Then Bittekoffer and company went back to work. The shotgun snapped to Bittekoffer. Throws a deep ball down the far sideline. Pirouetting catch. Was it made? Yes, it was made. Who made it? Justin Bethay made it. Where is he from? North Carolina. Tar Heel that Lafayette. It's a first and 10 Bison at the Leopards 36. Great adjustment on the ball. Ball was thrown really as high as he possibly could. Let Bethay reach up above the defender's head. Third and six Bison in a seven all game with four minutes left in the first half in Lewisburg. Against Lafayette College. In the shotgun, bit of copper with the hard count. Takes the snap, has time, floats one deep. Man is there, it's going to be complete. Complete, or did he hold on? I think he got that one, Doug. Ballot Butler did. Kevin first and 10 Bison at the 32. Very similar play that Buffet was able to take for a first down. Yeah, it was very, as you said, the similar look, similar design, and a similar throw as well by Bittenkoffer. Well, it's second That's and good. seven. Here's a play action pass. Hours is going to make him scared. He'll get his second touchdown in the half. Touchdown, your Bucknell Bison. Oh, baby. Fake handoff by Bittenkoffer to Cooper. Sprinting down the middle. Wide open was Hours. He almost was tripped up by the turf monster, but he held on, and Bucknell takes the lead left in the first half. After the score, Bucknell's senior kicker, Jack Chambers, set the Bison defense up for another big play. Here's a pass on first to 10. Slant to Pearson. It's up for grabs. And it's intercepted. Oh, my almighty. Messiah Lomelei took it up in the air. And Garrett Van Italy, this week's Patriot League Special Teams Player of the Week, takes it to the ground with a big INT. First to 10 Bison leading the Leopards by seven. Spot the ball at the Lafayette 23. So that's why you do those tip drills every now and then. Although the Bison were stopped, they still took a 14-7 lead into the half. In the second half, Bittekoffer picked up where he left off in the first 30 minutes. 
Second and eight pass play by Logan. He will tuck it in. He'll break a tackle. He'll run. He'll get to the 30. He'll get to the 35. He'll take a hard hit. But he'll be dragged down at the first down sticks, I think. Yes, first and 10. Bison, great run by Bittekoffer, who's doing that much more frequently today. Right choice there and the right time. Saw the C open up. However, the Leopards forced a punt and promptly moved down the field to tie the game. With momentum on the side of Lafayette, the Bison needed a big play, and freshman Sterling Deary answered. Uh, O'Malley, he'll take the snap, he'll look, he'll fire, man is open, it's going to be picked off by the Bison. Sterling Deary cuts it to 10, cuts it to 5, he's hanging on for dear life, and O'Malley is trying to not give up another pick 6, but the surge pushes him in for 6, touchdown, your Bucknell Bison! I'll tell you what, there was no way that he was going to be denied that opportunity. He was, the last thing he wanted to be did was caught by the quarterback. The Leopards tied the game on their next possession, then scored again to go up 26-21, to and finally added a field goal for a 29-21 to lead. But Bucknell wasn't done yet. Two wide outs to the right side. Bittekoffer looks to pass, throws one. It's going to be grabbed by Bethay. Up the middle of the field, he'll go to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. He'll have a first down. This is third and right at four. Bittekoffer in the shotgun with the Lafayette fans below us making noise. Bittekoffer flushed out of the pocket, throws to Sanders. He'll grab it for a first down before Root can drop him down. My goodness, single deep safety for Lafayette. Now they'll drop another guy into the wide side. Here comes Bittekoffer on third and 12, dances out of the pocket, just heaves it downfield, man wide open, it's going to be... Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison! How oh, my almighty! Find the man who's open! That was Bittekoffer's call, and the man who's open is Justin Buffet with his first career touchdown grab, and Bucknell will try and tie it with 425 left on a two-point conversion. Doug, the middle of the field was open, then Lafayette shifts, and you mentioned it. After the exciting touchdown, the Bison went for two points in a tie, but the Leopards made the stop and held on for the win. 